Congratulations, dude! You've safely unlocked the Dimension Gate! Now we can move forward. Sir Kilia, let us proceed. I assume the suspect who caused the problem is waiting on the other side of the gate. Please be careful, dude! Alright, Poison Dice. Finish Dance Floor. Actually, you know what? This is probably the last one. Might not be, though. Don't know. <laughs> you guys made it. Ah, it's the kid again. Shut up. Don't call me a kid, old man. I figured it was you. If you got this far, that means you're no ordinary thief. In that case, I'll tear off your disguise. Whoa! Th that was close. What do you think you're doing? You're great at dodging, I see. I was just paying you back for playing that cheap trick on my pocket netherworld. <laughs> The lost soldiers are here. They must have heard the gunshots and came to investigate. <laughs> I was able to lure them here just as I planned. Huh? What's going on here? Are they from Poison Dice? Looks like our situation just got more chaotic. <laughs> I am Hedler, the overlord of Poison Dice. <laughs> if my beloved Poison Dice is going to fall under the Lost Control, then I'd rather turn it into a poisonous wasteland. What? Hold on a second. We are not the Lost. Th this is... The land is tainted with poison. This isn't good. I'll just fall back for now. The Overlord of Poison Dice is very weak in terms of power, but he can use all sorts of poison. With the appearance of the Overlord, the situation here has gotten very complicated. <laughs> it's fine! This is a party, so let's party! Red Magnus is gonna super turn it up! This situation? What shall we do, Sir Kilia? This is more trouble than I expected, but it doesn't change what I've got to do, which is destroy the lost. So it's just Sea of Poison. He didn't actually... All right. Well, so the ground isn't actually, like, actually poisoned. So I can kind of do largely whatever I want. And that means only one Let's thing. Go. I'm hoping they attack me. All men are my <laughs> servants. My uber trained I hope they come and attack me. And I hope I don't have to use ranged attacks. Because this could be a problem otherwise. But, I mean, worst comes to worst, we, we just oh, spread out and start uh, chucking people everywhere. And go from there. But, I'm hoping... We can just go with pure party mode tower. Right there. And everybody comes within largely melee range. And then we just throw the tower from point A to point B along the way. Okay, so we're done. Let's put geese at the top. Just because geese is the coolest looking out of all of them. Okay, cool. So we can't move. We can throw. We're not going to do that. It's end turn. Come on. Most of these enemies are melee anyway. You know, I might not actually do a whole lot of fighting here. I might just sit here and let them all kill each other and then handle the scraps. This, at least that does seem kind of the most likely thing. All men are my okay, well... Oh, hey, we can... Oh, right, because we're so big, we have as much range as we want. Die! Let's end this quick!
I think next time I'll two, uh, do two large towers as opposed to one, one tower. But that said, this is pretty funny nonetheless. Yeah, they're all just gonna kill each other for me. Oh well, that works too. Hello! Okay, in retrospect, we might want to kill his down. I don't think he's going to sur uh, survive this round. Did they change that? Normally, if you're carrying something, you take damage. That That's only the case if you're carrying enemies. Oh, really? The, con the counter doesn't count everybody else. Well, this is a problem. That's okay. We can spread out pretty far. Right there. I wonder if we could have just thrown the entire tower in there. Oh well. Either way, let's summon geese. We're gonna take a lot of damage here, but we can totally re recover. Let me thank you. Most of them are also poisoned, so I might not actually have to do a lot here. Yeah, so the giant tower idea was funny, but I need a much tankier character on bottom. And that will probably require some major endgame changes. So we're probably going to lose some units here. Hardly an issue. Ooh, that's going to hurt a bit. Just a bit, though. We're going to get a lot of revenge from all of this, though. Because we're going to take a lot of damage. Let's see, why is there a horse? Which one's the horse? Do you mean the big pig thing? Cause yeah, they're they're pigs. Yep, there goes potato. Oh, we're getting a lot of revenge. Hey, we might actually be able to do a really successful squat attack here. Either way, our counter attack is going to be incredibly powerful. Might even be worth uh, just charging across the poison lake and just wailing on the poison dice forces. I wish sometimes the character Ooh, stolen slice. Did way less damage than I thought it would. Okay, so first and foremost, we need to rethink our positioning a bit. We'll just move him. We'll move Christo back here. I don't know if that resets his overlord. Nope, doesn't. Okay. Elchi Clairvoyance. So now we've got some accuracy. Now let's get some healing. Out of range. Oh, that's Doppelganger. Demon Solus. There we go. Shouldn't heal a single enemy. I'll support you. So we lost Potato. I think we lost Logan. <laughs> These are things I generally don't give a shit about. Let's do Special Squad Attack. Which is actually just going to be him. However, it's going to hit everyone. I'm okay with that. Can she do Squad Attack? Yes. Well, this is going to be a party. Let's go. <laughs> he just has... What does he have on his party? Is that just Richard or something? I think it is. You lose. Oh, shoot. I, target, I targeted the dude that ended up dying. Whoopsie. It's my turn. Man, squad attack is actually incredibly overpowered. <laughs> Especially when you have this number of people. Wait, how did... Oh, you know what? The capture squad and the interrogation squad are probably considered the same for combat. That's interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, kill them the rest of the way. You know, the norm normal way. I wish his miracle regen wasn't a personal based ability. Still, very powerful. So we'll just do that. He's done his heal move. She can move over here. Actually, you know what? She might as well stand next to Moaxes and attack. We might get a, we might get a, yeah, ninety percent chance of a combo. So if I have him here, and if I have her there, him there. Damn it! All right. Brachial muscle training. 
I really like bulk up. I really like his uh his new personality that just like muscles. It's really fun. And what? Oh. I was kind of hoping that... Oh, yep, they are going to summon something for him to get eaten by. Or not. Maybe just bombs. Still, I've never seen that combo attack before, and that's pretty great. <laughs> Lady Fighter has been mastered. Lady Warrior has been attained. Right, because I have Moaxes set up as a uh, secondary vault, uh, Viking or something like that. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, and we got a chest for that, too. Nice. Uh, let's see. Let's move him. Not, not many places I can move him to. Just move him, move him there. No. I gotta have somebody that can. Do, nope. We don't have anybody else we can summon. Whatever. We'll get the treasure chest in the next round. So now we're gonna have to fight the people from Poison Dice. Wait, does he have multiple abilities? Here I go. Here I like, did go. he just do a double attack? It looks like it, but it, that can't be right. Well, either way. Oh, shoot. She's currently stunned. Well, I guess he's got Espoir. Espoir? So we can use that instead. Which I should probably use more often anyway. I'll support you. <laughs> okay. And then we can just do group heal. Yes. Because that'll get rid of all status effects. Her... Her... His... His special ability is incredibly powerful. Can you capture the Moth Overlord? I don't think so. I will try. I promise that. Oh, shoot. She's poisoned. Why can't she move? Oh, she's... She's asleep. I didn't realize she got hit by the status effect, too. Okay. I should actually be able to use... Uh, is this just the flat-out Moth Overlord? Oh, it is Hedler. I didn't even realize Hedler was over here. Alright, well, she might as well get... Not Paul. She might as well get the treasure chest. Moaxes might as well take out Paul. I think he's got the... Uh, he's definitely got the power for it. We can just keep using bulk up. And he can fly. So yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to capture Hedler, but I'm definitely going to try. Just because it seems like it would be kind of a fun thing to do. Ooh, he is tough, though. Let's make sure we're not in the way of... I don't know how many rounds he has. Super Olympia. Overlord. Overload going. Oh, well. Either way, we could do Steel Arm Larry. That's going to do a lot of damage. Unfor unfortunately, our accuracy is garbage. Uh, please tell me he's already used his overload ability. Okay. For my master. Brachial muscle. Training. Muscles. Yeah. Good thing I trained. Note to self, have, um... Have Red Magnus. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they're a grunt or a demon general. They're helpless against my poisons. This one rots your intestines. This one is so painful you'll kill yourself. Which one would you prefer? <laughs> Looks like his poisons have gone to his head, too. Well, he is an Overlord level specialist when it comes to poisons. I could work some great strategies around him. Are you planning on recruiting this thing? It seems like it'll end up poisoning its allies, too. Ugh. Who cares about poison? It just upsets your stomach for a while if you eat it. <laughs> Unlike you, I'm built rather delicately. Could you not classify us in the same category? Currently, our rebel army is short on members. We can't afford to be picky. Let's make him an ally. What up? Uh, Super! Oh, whoop, he's just dead. Uh, well, that didn't work. Okay, fine. Hopefully that didn't count against me. Like, hopefully we recruit him at the end of this anyway. It'd be kind of annoying if I actually had to capture him. Okay, whatever. We'll figure it out. Uh, we might as well just heal her. She's probably going to die of poison otherwise. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I did not exactly expect, uh, freaking Red Magnus to go pure muscle time on him and just take him out in one blow. But I'm willing to bet that we don't have to capture him. He seems too plot important to be specific there. 
I could be wrong about that one. Anyway, let's let's use him for healing. There's always new game plus to capture. This is true, but considering we got Mummy Man for it, I think we're going to be okay. Uh, not much I can do here for combo moves, so we might as well do... We might as well do Hurricane Blow to this one. Kill him, seeing as he's going to die otherwise. And doesn't count for completing the level. Let me thank you. And let's see what else we can do. Anybody else got party attacks? He does. Or not exactly a party attack, but we might as well just do the group heal. Because we, we might as well use and abuse all of our abilities to the best of our capabilities. Uh, this is how my char this is how our characters will level. My characters will level? I don't even know. And I can't summon any bit anybody else. Now she has a support ability, right? Trick light, yes. So you might as well use any non-attack abilities as often as you can. Cause you know what? It actually gives you experience. Which is why the cleric is such a high level. Actually, I don't even know what level she is. It's really high though. Like it is it is too high. I'm looking forward to reincarnating her. Though I'm not sure what her mana level is going to be, unfortunately. Interesting question. Yeah, she's 22, which is, I think, six h levels higher than uh, anybody else. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, died of poison. <laughs> you guys are reckless, charging in to challenge my beloved poison without hesitation. You didn't want Void Dark to take your netherworld so badly. You covered it in poison. You must be reckless, too. Even famous overlords have trembled in fear at the names of Void Dark and the Lost. Contrary to its looks, I can see that it's a stout overlord. <laughs> That's the first time anyone has ever said that about me. The neighboring netherworlds have always despised us, considering us to be a weak netherworld. That's why I trained in skills that use poison. I won't lose to anyone. <laughs> We are the Rebel Army. Would you like to join us in defeating Void Dark? Rebel Army? Defeat Void Dark? <laughs> are you serious? Seriously serious! Red Magnus is super serious! <laughs> Interesting. Alright, I'll give Void Dark a taste of my beloved poisons. Thought so. Yep, he joined us. We didn't have to worry about it. This game is not that hardcore. Hey, we got a hundred experience extra. Nice. Might not be a bad level to grind on. And inverted pencils surrendered. And we get some money. Skip the demo. No. All right. We super defeated them, right? Well, it all boils down to power. Everything is going just as we planned! Hey, aren't we forgetting something? I don't know, but if you forgot about it, then it couldn't have been that important. Yeah! Take this! If you're gonna attack someone from behind, you should probably be more quiet about it. <laughs> Let's see how long you can keep talking with that big mouth. I'll get you. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where did you steal these moves from? I didn't steal them, and I have no intentions of telling you where I learned them. <laughs> All right, then eat this. Final technique. that move could it be <coughs> i i'm still perfecting this move got a problem with that you killia i'll let you go this time but we will settle this someday i am the only one who will carry on goldion's will Goldion? Didn't he just say Goldion? Could he be referring to Goldion, the great demon fist? Sir Kilia, just who are you?
Um, excuse me, but who's Goldion? According to historians, many quickly gave up when confronted with Demon Emperor Void Dark's ultimatum, and numerous netherworlds surrendered before any blood was shed. In smaller netherworlds, like Toto Bunny, both civilians and overlords surrendered in exchange of their lives. Typically, the netherworlds that gave in to the tyranny of the Demon Emperor were forced to join the Lost Army and fight the war. from his own sultriness. Hey! Who is the killer? I don't know. It's an unsolved mystery. Super hey! A beautiful girl gallantly appears before the brainless detectives. Overlord by day, temptress by night. Her true identity is the fascinating beautiful girl detective Serafina. Next time on Beautiful Girl Detective Serafina, episode four, the killer is Zeroken. You can't give spoilers in the preview, and I'm innocent! I get to choose the killer. <laughs> God, I love those. Those are great. They're really, really well done. I wonder how many chapters there are in this game. Probably a lot. You know what I bet I bet you can tell surely based on screen space, come to think of it. Lord Boy Dark, it's an emergency. The overlords we captured have escaped. We have caught you off guard, Void Dark. My brothers and I shamefully allowed ourselves to be captured so that we could kill you. Though you are strong, not even you can take on the ten Ashura kings. Let's go. My name is Alfonso. The eldest brother of the Ten Ashura Kings, and the Roaring Rampant. <laughs> <laughs> so there were some jolly fools still left. Crap! Lord Void Dark! This isn't what it seems. We were instigated into this by our foolish brother. As his 84th secretary. I shall be assisting Lord Void Dark. I am Viscount Mothman, Lord. I am here on behalf of my predecessor, who spilled tea on my master, Moth. My master, Lord Void Dark, is most generous. He has decided to pardon you for your crimes, Moth. Oh, we're saved. Except Moth. Only one of you can be pardoned, Moth. The one who survives will be rewarded with the position of Demon General, Moth. Entertain my master with a no-holds-barred Overlord Battle Royale, Moth. Now please, get to it. Goldion is a great hero who fought 10,000 of the lost soldiers all at once, all by himself. And he has no affiliations with anyone or any place. He just has another world in his heart. He is known as the Lone Overlord. His exploits are common knowledge throughout the Netherworlds. Of, of, of course I know that. I just remembered. Uh, oh, that Goldion. Yes, yes, of course, that Mr. Goldion. Yeah, there isn't a single person who lives in any netherworld that doesn't know about Goldion. Yes, of course. It's common knowledge. <laughs> By the way, where'd Kilia go? He has locked himself up in his room. I've been spying on him, but he's not even budging. Are you really doing that? It's super illegal. <laughs> I am a temptress after all. In any event, Kilia and Goldion. I wonder how they're related. 
very interesting. Ugh, darn it! There are so many unanswered questions, it's bugging the hell out of me! Not to mention, Sir Kilia is my servant. I want to know all about Sir Kilia. This is really bugging me. <laughs> Does Red Magnus sense love in the air? Absolutely not. I simply want to get a grasp on his secrets, that's all. It's an emergency, dude! We got a high-level security alert! What's going on? We have an intruder, dude! An intruder? Who would be rude enough to invade my pocket netherworld without permission? <laughs> Sounds fun! They've got balls to try and pick a fight with us! The Supreme One shall take super care of this! An intruder now. Could it be Zerokin again? Or one of the lost assault squads? The intruder is hiding somewhere in this pocket netherworld, dude! We searched as long as we could! Open parentheses, three minutes, close parentheses. But we couldn't find them, dude! The intruder must be a professional, dude! So everyone, please be careful and stay aware of your surroundings! <laughs> oh, it's her. Episode 4, Yellow, Rabbit, and curry the other main character Kilia, the leader of the nether research squad wants to have a word with you dude sorry for making you wait so long we are now prepared to launch expeditions to research other nether worlds if you're interested please let me know cyber special squad unlocked in squad formation okay cute animal meow nor any bug Opening up rules of nobles, fist weapons, first step, spear user, archer, beginner, showdown, axe time, studying Spain, they're all sissies, convince my dad, armor is important, and examine netherworld have all been added. Okay, and we also have an event. The sardine curry that Kilia made has disappeared, dude! It must have been the intruder, dude! What was that? Sardine curry? Sir Kilia, could you not feed the prinnies on your own? They'll get big headed! But these guys are doing their jobs. A little wouldn't hurt. Why, you're too easy on them, Sir Kilia. I bet that curry was sweet, like you. I didn't even get to take a single bite. I won't forget, forgive that intruder, dude. Okay, so first and foremost, let's check this out. What? Thank you for visiting. You can assign characters to a research squad and make them research other netherworlds. You can discover new netherworlds, find rare items, capture prisoners, or even strengthen your characters. Would you like to travel to... And research various netherworlds out in the universe. Yes. So first and foremost, we need to get a squad going. Uh, blah, awesome. blah, 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 blah. Organized squad. So we've got printing squad, cyber research squad. Accuracy based on the number of signed members. Unfortunately, I don't have any loose characters except for Hedler. Hey, you know what? Hedler's not a bad uh, research dude. We'll just send him out for the time being. I think. And we'll figure out exactly what it does. So, nether research. So, squad level 5, 10, 15. Acquire rate, 30. You know what? Screw it. Let's just load this thing up a lot. I don't think the, the awesome. other support squad is particularly useful, honestly. So, let's do not life support. I actually don't even know what that does. Prinny squad. Assigned members will be treated like a prinny. I don't know how that works either. Make more units, dude. Yeah, probably. I need to farm for some money. Honestly, let's have geese in there. Christo. And... Potato. There we go. I don't know why a bunch of mages are my research crew, but it feels like it's appropriate what? somehow. Okay. So let's do, let's do some research. Uh, so we can do blood parts. Squad level 5. Research rate 0%. Sure. Why not? Research. Unassigned units. I just send everybody? We might as well send Logan and Richard along too. Researching characters cannot join the battle. Okay. So why don't we How do we how do we Oh here we go. We'll take potato out of the mix and geese. 
who else can we send on this that we don't generally use? Honestly, those three are probably going to be the best. Everybody else I kind of use. <laughs> so it'll take them a little while. And make more units. Yeah, no, nope, seems about time. And I can always do some off-screen grinding with the spare characters to get them on par if I need to. So, uh, this is the wrong one for recruitment, isn't it? Oh, shoot, we got, like, new items, too, don't we? Because we just completed a chapter. Well, first and foremost, seeing as we've got some money, let's recruit some characters that I don't have yet. I don't have any martial artists. I don't have a slime. Let's get him. Uh, Gumbo is kind of a nice name. Dustin, Michael, Phil, Memory, Achilles, Dustin, Zach, Neil, George, Jackie, Blaine, Golden. I'm just going to keep... There's insufficient funds. Here we go. Dollar store days. Gravy train. There we go. Now I can spend all of my money and make a genius gravy train. That doesn't seem useful for me. We'll just go with uh, skilled. Let's see. What do I want to do with him? Uh, he's got really high defense. I don't actually know if these guys these guys aren't supposed to use int weapons. So we might as well just throw it a couple points into attack and HP. There we go. And it's barely a bonus. I mean, it's barely any extra money to boost his level. In fact, now I think he's a higher level than most of my usual units, funnily enough. I like Jelly. Jelly was great. Ooh, and Extra Color 3 looks really nice, too. Okay. Let's see, do I have a thief yet? They're easily the best characters. Nope, I have not gotten a thief. I really should, but I've been lazy about certain things. Oh, hey. Maybe I, maybe I have gotten the Thief. I think I've unlocked the Brawler class. If I'm not mistaken. Because apparently leveling up a subclass actually unlocks the, um... Unlocks the rankings along the way. So let's take a look at the quest for a second. Any quest I can turn in? Nope. Okay. So we want Thief. Brawler rank 2 or better. Should actually be done with that one already. Yep, thought so. Okay. So, Stealing Specialist. Us thieves specialize in stealing. Do you need our help? Then we would like you to see... Oh, then we would like to see your full strength. Prospective employers have to be strong. And so now we get the thief class. We should probably check to see... Oh, quest assassinations has been added. Interesting. Uh, what's this one? Oh, this... If we get uh, Brawler 3, Thief 2, we get uh, Assassin next. That's useful. Uh, let's see. So what other ones? Fighter? No. Can't do those. Any other class-based quests? Oh, fighter and healer. We can probably get hunter as well. Okay, and then fighter and then mage. We can probably get that one as well. Okay, so what's this one? Guts. Extreme tough guy. Could probably pick that one up. Cafe allowed. No. Rotten garbage. No. Specialty magic. Secret scroll wind. That's a good one. Don't care about gum. More pretty things, slumber cats. We'll do this. Secret scroll gender bender. Huh. I wonder what that one does. Uh, items needed. One. Rare or better. We'll try it. Apparently I can't. Okay. Okay, and we've completed specialty magic seeking partner. Okay. So that, that frees up some space for us. So specialty magic gets us the wind scroll. So, I'm in trouble. I lost my staff. If you can give me a staff, I'll teach you my special magic. This is completely off topic, but there aren't many female demons with short skirts. Wind Mage William. Funny. Okay, we'll just give the uh, cute wand that we've got sitting around. Okay. Secret pa seeking partner. We gunners. Uh, we are gunners, and we are looking for partners for our missions. We're looking for people who are compatible with us on the battlefield. If you qualify, we'd like your help. Gunner Rep Carlo. Okay. So now we have Gunners, and Samples Wanted has been ended, and then lastly, we Archers. Oh, we are Archers, and we're looking for another world where we can train new members. If you can show us your strength, then we will dispatch for you. Archer Rep Amelia. Okay. And Archer can now be recruited. And more so, can be used as a... Ooh, Space Pirates. Can be used as a, uh, a subclass, which actually would be really useful along the way. Okay. Uh, we've got a bunch of shitty other... Quest that I should probably take a look at. Change color ten times. Probably should do that immediately. Let's go adjust some colors for a second. Actually, first and foremost, let's pick up the tr treasure chest. Ooh, binoculars. Actually, that reminds me. Uh, we're gonna go mess with Seraphina's equipment for a second. 
So, she's back to gun. So instead of this, we want those glasses. Binoculars. That increases her hit really heavily. Because apparently, uh, gunner's damage is based on their, their hit stat, and not anything else. So, it's actually best if I don't... Ooh, looks like we got some new stuff. So let's... Oh, jeez, these are, these are expensive. So if we do this, we can just max her damage. Is it worth it? Yeah, we might as well. She's been kind of weak all this time anyway. And it looks like just the accessories are really expensive. Actually, yeah. yeah just the expensor, ex accessories are expensive. Because everything else is only like 7,000 or whatever. So we can we can definitely farm for the money. Okay, cool. Supply Depot unlocked in squad formation. Let's see. And then, I think we're just going to call the assembly, and we're just going to change Kilia's colors a bunch. I don't know if this actually works. But I think it does. I mean, he's got some pretty good color sets, but I just like his original one. Is that enough? Yeah, got it. All right. So let's go and let's uh, review quests. Turn in my own color. So this way we get to use some, um, get some more colors along the way. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pay on uh, pay for this one, but still. Okay. Well, let's do strategy assembly. See if I can get the more precise colors, and then I think I will switch games just for a little bit. Ooh, these are a bunch of new ones. Let's see, condensed fragments of power, celestial host. Oh. Well, there's actually a bunch of parties that you need to boost up. Okay, so which is the color one? Better items in the store? No. Oh, want to use more precise colors. Never mind, I need a thousand mana for that one. Never mind. Alright, so, I think for now, let's, uh, let's switch games. What time is it? It is 2.41. Ooh. Okay.